check this out. This is the new fireball effect that they have, guys. Check this out. <laughs> That's awesome. So Corbin would shoot a fireball to the Minotaur, blow it up. That would be awesome. That's Ooh, yeah. the new effect. I like that, guys. They're adding a bunch more, too, in as well, like lightning and, and all kinds of stuff. So, Do they have a Ray of Frost one? I'm not too sure. Not too sure. I'm too sure there will be all kinds of different elements, like cold and you know stuff like that. So. Cool. Yeah, that's okay, what it looks well, like, guys. Um, that's what the mentor I'm level go subscription ahead and hit him gives with you. First level uh, magic missile. Oh, I don't have that, man. <laughs> and I hit him for nine. Okay. It could be a flame effect for magic missile. It's just going to be really small. Yeah, like a couple little dribbles or something. All right, nine damage. You use a level one magic missile as well, right? Yeah, yeah it's a uh, yeah, a mentor one. level <laughs> feature. It was from the rugged reroll. And all the players could see that. They were like, whoa, cool. Barry, you're up, sir. Okay. I am going to move. Roll 20 just keeps getting better and better, guys. And I mean, it really does. Roll 20 just keeps kicking freaking ass. Alright. Yeah, you notice that Boris is is down on the ground, locked prone. I'm in pain here, guys. Help me. Okay. Still stop. I attack. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. As you charge up there on the top, and you're fixing to attack, your feet are still slip, and you fall, Barry. So you get up there, and you kind of just like slide across the bridge, and you end up over here, and as you swing, you damn near take off Boris's head as well. So you slip uh, just a couple feet, and now you're down on the ground, so you are prone, but you're, you're going to be able to get up no problem at all next round. So, All right, so that's what happens when you roll a critical. Oh, I, I have um, a second attack. Well, so I lose that, or can I yeah, get you, up? Yeah, you can get up. I'll let you. I'll allow you to get up, but you won't be able to okay. attack because cool. of the because okay. of the critical fumble. No problem. I, I'm. I accept that one hundred percent. That's the the bad. Th sometimes I do something like that. Sometimes I don't. It just just depends. So depends on the situation. If it's just normal combat, then I don't do a whole lot with it unless I think of something goofy like impromptu, but. Seeing that you just got out of the water, it does make sense on wood. You kind of slipped a little bit. so. But anyways, uh, now we're up to the Minotaur. Uh, actually, yeah, one Minotaur is going to hustle. He's going to use his action to move. Uh, see, what is the movement on a Minotaur? Movement on a Minotaur is, wow, 40 feet. So he's going to hustle 80. You can actually, everyone can hear these loud, uh, you know, hoof steps as they're, sounds like they're getting closer to everyone. And then you hear it, then you hear a splash as well, so. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it there, uh, Lime Porter. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the view tonight. I really appreciate it. Stop by any time, buddy. Can I tell where the splash came from? Yeah, you sure can. Uh, you can actually tell that a minotaur jumped into the water. Well, you can you see a minotaur now. You can't fully see him, but you can see an axe being reared back uh, that's straight ahead of you. So it looks like he's actually coming in from the from the actual water area. Okay. And the next minotaur. Next Minotaur is jumping into, down into the water as well in front of Lorimar. Okay, they've used double movement, so they're not able to get their action to actually attack. So 
Does right. he provoke an attack opportunity by leaving my attack space there? Mm, no, because it wasn't five foot. No, it's out of the five foot because he, he jumped from this area over here. Over here along the edge of the wall, so that would have been out of your, your five foot. Boros probably would have got an attack of opportunity if he wasn't prone. So, All right, so it looks like I've just went ahead and done all of the movement for the Minotaurs because they weren't going to get any attacks anyway. Uh, so, Boros, you're up now. You're able to pick yourself up off the floor and get an attack. Actually, I think, uh, hold on, I think you're not going to be able to get an attack. I have to double check that. I have to double check prone real quick. Okay, I'll wait. Yeah, you can get an attack, you're just going to have disadvantage. Okay, then I'm going to do that. Stand up and hit the, the big guy over here. Uh, we're, we're in uh, probably about an hour and a half. You're attacking the one that basically knocked you prone, right? Yep. Alright. Just go ahead and roll twice and take the worst roll. Okay, you rolled an eight. Eight plus plus what? I don't remember my. Uh, twelve. Is it? Is it a twelve? Uh, only with strength it is uh, twelve. Okay, then you hit. Your disadvantage oh, okay. hits. Mm -hmm. Yep, you definitely hit. So go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. Eleven damage. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, sir. Lormar, you're up. You got a Minotaur staring down you, staring down the barrel again, man. Hello, Minotaur. Hello, Mr. Minotaur. Move over a little bit, try to get between the Minotaur and Corbin. All right. And then I am actually just going to cast Prayer. Alright, and exactly what does Prayer do? There's the effects. Uh, all party members gain plus one bonus to AC, attack rolls, weapon damage rolls, ability checks, and saving throws. Is that within 25 feet or something? Um... I think they're all within the radius anyway, so... Yeah, 25 feet. Yeah, every, everybody's within 25 feet, so... And that is a swift cast, so can I attack as well? Everyone feels a, a warm sensation come over you, and you feel blessed. So everyone has a plus one AC, so don't forget to uh, tell me... You don't have to put it on your actual the token or anything. I'll, I'll just remember to add a plus one AC. So. Yeah, if it's a swift, swift action, you can do something else. Yeah, you can do something else. But uh, I don't. You can't cast a spell though. I mean, you can get an attack or or something like that. I I'll just. I wish they would change that though. I wish as long as you got a minor and a major, you should be able to do anything. I may house roll that. So. Uh. Yeah, we won't house roll it right now, but you can get an attack in, yeah. Alright, then I'll swing a mace at the Minotaur in my face. Corbin is in the water, Heavy. Oh, I thought you were going to eat the opportunity attack so Corbin can face the Minotaur one-on-one. <laughs> -on -one. <laughs> <clears throat> that would have been funny. Oh, did I say that? Was this... Hello, was this thing keyed up? <laughs> Uh, that's actually hit five bludgeon damage. All right. All right. So this minotaur is gone. That minotaur is gone because of the movement. It would have been the same thing anyway. So 
Merrick, you're up now. Okay. Oh, shoot. Well, I can see this one right here, right? Uh, you yeah, you actually can barely see. Well, yeah, you can barely see him. You can see his back end, and you can sort of see maybe the hands and maybe the arms of the one in the north chamber, but you can see the one hovering. You know, they're clearly several foot taller than Boris and Barry, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I could just move up and do the shot to, to this yeah. one. So let's just do that. Oh, I'd, I'd love for you to roll a one right now, too. That would be pretty awesome. <laughs> I still got advantage on this guy. That's why I'm shooting him. Uh, all right, so I'll take a shot at this Minotaur. Okay. okay. Oh, that's a hit. So the 21, which will give me 24 damage. Are you doing 24 damage? The sneak attack bonus is 10. You got a 1d10 bonus for sneak attack? It went up by, on level, uh, what was it, level 5, I believe. God, it skips 1d8 and just goes right to 1d10? Yeah. Jesus, that's unbelievable. Uh, actually, I thought it's supposed to go to 1d8. It was 1d6, 1d8. That's what I thought. It is 1d8. Oh, 1d6. At level 5, it's 2d6. 2d6, yeah. Wow. They they still have expertise die on that, and this is not an old playtest by hand. It's kind of funny, so yeah, two d six, nice. Got eleven. All right, so you, how much damage do you do again? Twenty four. Wow, on the one that was on Boris to begin with. No, no, the this one oh, okay. uh, that was attacking, uh, yeah, Lormar, because that's I've already sh shot the other one, so I'd, this is the only way I'd get advantage on that one. Yeah. All and right. then I'll just move back. Okay. Ah, don't forget your cunning action. Can't forget that. Okay, I'll do the stealth. Cunning, uh, let's see. Cunning action's done. Corbin, you're up now, sir. All right, Dave, that one in front of us, I want to hit him. I say fuck it, fireball. There's three of them there. <laughs> yeah. I don't got chain lightning. That would be better. Aren't you evocation? To... Oh, oh, sorry. Um, I'm not playing your character. Plus one damage. Sorry, prayer. Give me plus one damage. Says so twenty five damage. My bad. Dave, I'd kill all the guys if I use that. But aren't you evocation? Yeah. Don't you have spell sculpt? Yeah, you can do that. Oh yeah. Hello. <laughs> I wasn't sure which one you were. So. Come on, Corbin. You know, I, w I just want to use my damn fireball effect, man. <laughs> okay, Dave, I'm going to use my fireball. Uh, and, uh... Ping on the map where you want it. Because it's a 20-foot blast, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, so it's just going to... Uh, let's see here, how do I do this? Does it sound really bad, Runs? Like, down through here. Okay, you want to blast it right there? All right, cool. And how many can you spell sculpt? How many people can you actually spell sculpt? So, uh, is it equal to your level? Yeah. Well, I think it's for evocation, so. Yeah. Yeah, beginning yeah. at second level, you can cast an evocation spell that uh, affects other... Well, an evocation spell, yeah, that affects other creatures. You can choose a number of creatures equal to the spell's level plus one. So, in that so case, four. four, yeah. All right. And uh, what do I roll for, Dave? I'm sorry. Uh, fireball? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. It's probably five or sixty-six, probably. You'll have to. It's you'll have to look it up. It's in the the mage spell book. It's level yeah, three. Yeah. So three. Yeah. Let me scroll down. Down right. there a little bit. Yeah. Who did you sculpt out of the uh, fireball blast? By the way. Hundred foot. You? Oh, see. you guys. Twenty oh, foot radius. I don't need it for me, so I got a problem, y'all. Well, it'll hit you if it's if yeah. you're within twenty foot. So. All he's got to do is put it over here, and then it, it won't even bother him. 
Get yeah. that 20 foot just well, to hit that left. That's up to him. That's not up to you guys. So. <laughs> that's what I'll do. Right, then, but you I, were making it sound like he was. Oh, for sure. Yeah, this yeah, is the, like, the headset that I'm wearing. It's a you know uh, Plantronics you know, GameCon. I've never shot it, dude. And that's you know, what I have. But I am actually, uh, I'm going to get a Blue uh, Yeti mic. I am going to so. shoot it 20 feet ahead of That's going to be eventually. And it is 66. Just whenever I get off my butt so. and do it, so. Sixty-six. So go ahead and see. You're going to be using that fireball all the time now. So, all right. So let me do my cool spell effect. So you launched the fireball, and you where did you launch it again? Twenty feet ahead of me. Ping on the map. Sorry. All right. Let me measure it. So right around here, I guess, 20 feet. Mm. Well, really let's see. It. Seeing All that right. there's a hazard in your way, you do you do have a bridge, you're not going to be able to actually put a point on there because your view is obstructed because of the water mainly and because of the bridge. I mean, you can just put it on the bridge. Shit, let one person eat the, the 66. Who cares? <laughs> you're a mage, man. Or you could just eat the damage. Make a saving throw. You only take half damage. Oh, I'm not going to hurt my guys, so I'm going to shoot it as far as I can, so why don't you show me where I can shoot it to? Uh, actually, you can put it on the wall. You'll be able to put it on the wall. So you can put it up to about right here. So where I just... Yeah, so you should be fine. Everybody will be fine. You'll be able to put the point actually on the on the wall over here. Uh, or okay. to the right, so yeah, the That's fireball the comes from. <laughs> I love that <laughs> shit, <laughs> like a big fucking kid, man. That's awesome. All right, sorry I had to do that, guys. Do it right. again. Do it again. So it looks like <laughs> everybody ignores damage. Oh, this do this here. <laughs> <laughs> Great sound effects. Uh, All right, so I'm going to do some saving throws real quick. And what kind of saving throw? Uh, your DC is what? Um, hold on one second. And what uh, I do? Yeah. I know it's a deck saving throw because all those missile types of spells are should be are all decks. So my DC, I guess, is twelve. Okay. Saving throw number one is a fail. So I take the full 25. Saving throw number two is a make, so I only take 12. And that was on the one on Boros originally. Uh, third and final third and final saving throw uh, on Lormar. That saving throw is a definitely a fail. So I take another 25 damage and Everyone is spell sculpted. Everybody just sees this huge blast of fires stream by everyone, shooting up towards the wall. Everyone feels a actually a concussion blast, uh, and everybody can actually feel the shock wave coming from this. This you know everybody can feel the heat, but you're protected. You can just feel warmth, but nobody takes any damage. And all of the the minotaurs are kind of <laughs> they're kind of smoking a little bit here, so. Hair and stuff. All right, so nice job there, Corbin. Sorry, I kind of influenced you to use that damn fireball, but I mean, I just no, like that. that was that was I, fun. I like that fireball spell. I just wanted to use it. Damn, I haven't never haven't used it yet. So you popped my my spell virginity on roll twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so Barry, uh, you're up now, I, man. I feel so okay. Dirty. I'm going to. Uh, um, which ones look like they took? the worst damage of it? Actually, all three of them, definitely. You, you saw all three of them kind of engulf in flames, and then now they're just kind of smoking a little bit. But you did see the, the actual blast come from from the north. So, But you did see the fireball. You were like, what in the hell was that? None of you have ever seen that come from Corbin. So, wow. Everybody was like, whoa, what the hell was that? Is that a meteor? 
Freaking Corbin, careful where you're pointing that shit. I'll swing at the one in front of me. <laughs> Alright, go for it. So that's a hit? Yeah, that's definitely a hit. Nice hit, man. Okay, I'm going to uh, smite it. Uh, also, so that gives me, uh, as a first level spell, it gives me extra 2d8 for damage. Cart carrier coming through. That was so good. I, I watched that 20 times last week. It was so funny. Nice. Perfect. Uh, 10 damage? No, no, no. Uh, that was at the extra. All together, oh, no. 21. Nice. Holy shit. Uh, so your your radiant damage. You gotta use a spell slot for that, right? Yes. I like use a, my first spell God, that's so nice at level one. And Two my second yeah. attack. God. Oh, you're using yeah. your second oh, you get a second attack as well. Gotta love level level five plus uh D and D characters. Fifteen? Mm, I wish hits. they would change that from automatic attack to attacks to like fourth edition where it was you get, you know, Action surges. So. Oh, and I got max damage, so give him another 10. God, so a total of 31 uh, damage. 36. 36. I'm sorry, standing. more than that. 10, 20. Unless 30, he didn't survive the first hit. 1. My bad, 31. 31. Damn. Wow, he is definitely bloody, that's for sure. Yeah, he's, he's pretty pissed off now. All right, so here we are. This Minotaur here is going to have advantage. Uh, he is, well, actually, he's going to enrage as actually, well. I still get my move, right? I still get my move action, right? You can move, but you're going to take a couple opportunity attacks for moving. Uh, Maybe, yeah, probably. You'll take why? three. Why? Why would I take three? Because it, you're, within range, right? you're within range of three targets. So yeah. you would take three opportunity Spike. attacks. Five feet if I'm all right. I'll just I'll just stay there. You can move though if you want to. Feel free to. <laughs> I always love opportunity attacks. You should have. You didn't. You watch that video that I I put in uh, the stream a couple times there. Oh yeah. Man under fire. Yeah, man, you gotta you gotta use your action to sidestep <laughs> or disengage. <laughs> in D D next, it's disengage, which is you can only use half your movement. So, all right. So this guy is gonna enrage the one that's north of you. I'm gonna mark it as well. So let, let's see. He, let's put the old, let's put the lightning bolt on him. This is to designate that he's enraged. So basically, what this does is it ha makes him have disadvantage on attacks. But seeing that he has advantage on him, it advantage and disadvantage cancels each other out, and it's just a normal advance, uh, just a normal roll. Uh, so I'm going to attack Boros now. Gonna get hit by a train. <laughs> Why me? Because you're standing right in front of him. The guy next to me did more damage than his friend. Uh, it is a 13 versus armor class. Is that a oh, miss? Oh, he's good. Is that uh, a? What, what, is that a miss? Again? 13. Uh, no, it's not a hit. Okay. See, you're fine. If that was a 19, I'm good. Destroyed. Oh, you know what sucks? The Minotaurs get two attacks around too. So let's try this again. <laughs> Twenty-five versus armor class. Does that hit? Yes, I think that's. You take a total of thirty-three damage with the enrage. <laughs> and I'm at two hit points. Yeah, you just basically almost got your arm ripped off. <laughs> Even with your bonus from prayer, I think uh, you got your prayer buff as well. That still wouldn't have saved you, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, my 18 armor class went to 19. Yeah, so tw the, the damage was 23 plus the 10 for enrage damage was 33. Plus 10? Yeah, plus 10 for enrage damage. Yeah, yeah. enrage is crazy. So All you right. mean 33? Uh, I meant 33, yep. Two threes, Boris, as we say here in the United States. 3-3 three, three is 33. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm minus eight. Oh, you're at zero hit oh. points? Oh, oh, the monk went down. Monk down, monk down. You're at zero hit points. Again. <laughs> it's not my fault. When I roll all the time, the four hit points, two hit points on my HP rolls, I get the minimum. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. You are all you've got the worst luck for going. This is what your third or fourth time going down, Boros? <laughs> yep. Man, and this that... time before the fight began I said I'm walking around before any attacks. <laughs> that second attack, man, really was a devastating attack. Uh, so yeah, the the the, the Minotaur did, had done an attack and Boris dodged out of it, but he basically did an uppercut with the weapon and just you know, it was like watching the movie Friday. He just went about five feet up into the air and it just fell directly on his back and he's laid out. Boris is unconscious. <laughs> All right, so Boros, you're unconscious. Go ahead and give me a saving throw. You need to give me uh, a death saving throw. Uh, what is that? Con. 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 Yep. D20. No constitution. D20. Modifiers. Yep. Just a D20. Oh. Just a D20. Seventeen. Nice. Oh, nice. Good. You're fine. One You'll, to the good. Yep. You're good. So, uh, one second. I need to check one thing. Like a Mack truck. God. <laughs> she came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> How much damage was it again? It was thir 30, what? 33. My full HP is 32. Holy crap. Uh, Boris, even I can't save you from these one shots. I would have barely if I lived was on that. Full HP. Even in full HP, he would have destroyed me with one hit. I am nope. 32 HP and she hit me for 33. <laughs> Damn. Alright, so you're fine. As long as you don't get three, you're dead. So, you're fine. Alright, yes, so I now, <laughs> uh, Lormar, you're up. You you heard this vicious slice and you heard a... Argh! And then you heard a thud. Poof. You really can't... And then you see like the, the head of Boros... Kind of, his head is facing you, and his mouth open, blood coming out of it. So you, you've seen that Boros has gone down yet again. It's the usual <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a Minotaur right in front of you, blocking the way. So. Mm -hmm. Is he still at negative HP? He's not at negative. He's just at zero. He's he's unconscious. Stable. So basically, how this works in D&D next is. It's like a three strikes and you're out system. If you, you roll a ten sided, it's basically a con saving throw. And if you roll a ten or over, you make it. So nothing happens. So the next round, if you roll like a seven, you have one strike. The next round, if you make your con save, you still only have one strike. So you eventually keep going until you fail three times. So uh. somebody has to either get to you to stabilize you with like a heal or something like that. Or you die from missing three turns. Well, missing three bad wow. rolls. So it actually it's kind of forgiving. I actually kind of like that system. So you know, it's not like first edition, second edition, where there's all these negative numbers and stuff. And so mm. yeah, it's it's cool. All right, so we're up to the Minotaurs now. This Minotaur Wait, I here. Gone yet. Oh, oh, whoa, that's whoa, right. Whoa. You haven't. <laughs> whoa. Three point turn, man. I just did a three point turn. <laughs> You're up, Ormar. Sorry. So, can I range heal him or no? Do I have to actually get up to him and you got, stabilize him? You can, as long as you can see him, and uh, you can definitely see him, see him, you can shoot a healing word at him. Get up. Because healing word is a range spell up to, I think, what it is, 25 feet, 50 feet? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, yeah, you'll you'll be able to uh, to heal him up. Um, you know what, I will actually, instead of doing a healing word, uh, Lormar will take a kneel and channel his divinity Ooh. and heal Boros for 25. Whoa! Alright, Boros, you actually come to, and you're, you're still down on the ground, but you can actually, you've came to, you're, you just kind of open your eyes and you're... You have no clue what the hell is going on. All you remember is dodging an attack of a minotaur and blacking out. So, All right, Lormar, good move, man. Nice uh, channel divinity. Now we're up to the minotaurs. Uh, this minotaur here in front of Barry is going to attack him. He is not going to enrage because I did not... I did not... I, 
I do rolls for those, but he's not enraging, so. 10 versus armor class, and his second attack is a. Oh, God, it is a crit. Fuck. He misses. <laughs> yeah. 